Alright, today I'm going to be comparing the leading female characters of The Witcher and Game of Thrones, Yennefer Vangerberg and Daenerys Targaryen. Now, I know that there are multiple leading female characters in both shows, in fact, Thrones has almost an equal amount to the male characters, but I'm going to focus on the ones that seem to get the most attention from fans. One quick thing I want to mention about this video, I am not super knowledgeable about Game of Thrones, and I'm going by the show versions for both series. So, if there is something about Daenerys that I'm miss i am sorry the same goes for yennefer if there's something you like about her from the books that isn't the show sorry focusing on the show for this video both characters are extremely powerful if in different ways yennefer is one of the most powerful mages in her series being able to do complex magic with little effort she is also able to enthrall an entire town into an orgy with little effort on her part I don't care how the magic system is set up, that is hard and has to take a lot of concentration and will to pull off. She's also directly stated to be an extremely powerful mage by her mentor. Oh, and she performed fire magic, nuking an entire enemy army while avoiding her side. That is badass. Daenerys is stronger in the political sense and in the charismatic sense. She was able to take over the Dothraki after her husband Khal Drago was killed by a poisoned blade. She also has the massive army of the Dothraki and others that she freed on her way to take back the throne and she believes it is her birthright. She also has three dragons at her command, but that doesn't contribute to military might or anything. Both characters are extremely goal oriented when it comes to getting what they want. Yennefer wants to have power as her first goal, going as far as to have her wound removed so that she could be more attractive and land a spot as the court mage of Aiden. After a number of years she grows tired of this, leaving the Brotherhood of Sorcerers to try and find her own goals. The main one of these being trying to heal her womb so that she can have the option to have kids. She goes about this in a few different ways, first of which is an attempt to capture a genie and use it herself as the vessel. This fails because of Geralt's intervention, but that's still a gutsy move to make. She also wanted to try and use dragon parts for their supposed healing properties. I mean, she ultimately failed because the dragon slayer that she hired was killed, but still, she was going to give it a try. Daenerys, on the other hand, led her people across the Red Waste, a fucking desert, to get back to Westeros to take the throne. This is after she lost her son and her husband, both to a witch who claimed that she could save Drago. Oh, and she executed that witch by tying her to Drago's funeral pyre, and walking into the pyre so she could quote, die with her husband. She then emerged with three dragons, and she got the respect of her tribe of Dothraki, and started to lead because she was the strongest person all of a sudden. And then after almost dying in the desert, they go to a city where after some adventures with betrayal, she has her dragons burn a guy to death, and she locks his partner in a vault to die. She ends up pulling a similar stunt later, when she trades one of her dragons for a group called the Unsullied. Her dragon then kills the man she traded him to for the Unsullied, and she orders them to kill all the masters in the city. Those she leaves alive happen to be slaves for the record, which is a pretty solid way to ensure your army is loyal to you. The dragons might help a bit in ensuring loyalty. And I would be chagrin if I didn't mention that both Yennefer and Daenerys managed to get with the leading male characters in their respective shows. Yennefer gets with Geralt, at least for a bit, and Daenerys gets with Jon. Now, Yennefer and Geralt doesn't last super long. We see them together for about two episodes, and even then, for maybe 20 minutes, totally on screen. For the first episode they meet, they only get together after Geralt makes a wish of a djinn. And then the next episode, apparently after not seeing each other for a while, they get back together for a time. And then Yennefer leaves Geralt at the end of the episode because she figures she only wants to be with him because of the wish. Now I don't know if they're going to get back together at any point, as the show has only released its first season. I know that within the canon of the novels and games they're together, but we have to wait and see what happens in the show. Daenerys ends up with Jon for a bit before she goes insane and torches King's Landing with Drogon. And kind of a weird thing is that Jon is Daenerys' nephew. Not most people's first choice of lover, but when your family has practiced incest for years, it kind of makes sense, I guess. Still found it extremely off-putting. Her relationship with Jon ends a bit worse off than Yennefer and Geralt's because Jon kills her after she goes insane, kind of not allowing for a potential makeup between the two. And finally, how the characters begin the show versus how they end the show. In Yennefer's case, this is a for now because she could come back in season 2 of The Witcher. When we first meet Yennefer, she is a hunchbacked farm girl whose father hates her because she is a hunchback. Her father sells her to Tessiah de Vray, 
or less than a hog because he hates her and believes her to be worthless. We see her grow in power and confidence through the show, becoming an extremely powerful mage in the process. This is all comes to a head in the final battle of the series, where, as mentioned before, she pulls off an extremely powerful fire spell to kill all the enemy forces, seemingly sacrificing herself in the process. Now, when we first meet Daenerys, her brother is selling her to Khal Drago as a wife, aka a goddamned glorified sex doll, so that he can gain the support of the Dothraki in his plan to take back the Iron Throne. Daenerys then proceeds to gain control of her situation by learning how to please a man from one of her slaves, and then uses this knowledge to become equal to Drago in his eyes. This, mind you, is all when she's a child, I think canonically like 13 in the first season, I might be wrong about her age, but even if she is older than that, it's still quite impressive. After Drago's death and her taking the leader role of the Dothraki, she leads an invasion of Westeros, culminating in her becoming the Mad Queen and leading to her death at the hand of Jon Snow. It is sad to see a character that started off so cunning and able to take control of an entire tribe of warriors by being smart become deranged by the end of the show. I do wish that it had gone a different way for her character, but that's for another video. And that's it. I would have to say with everything about the two characters, I would say that Yennefer is the better of the two, at least in my opinion. She always has her goal in mind throughout the show, and her arc of learning to care more about others I thought was better than Daenerys' arc overall. But tell me what you guys think, am I right about Yennefer being the better character, or is Daenerys? Tell me what you guys think in the comments down below. What are you guys expecting, me to compare them based on how attractive the characters are? Pfft, grow up you assholes. Hey guys, I hope that you enjoyed that video. Hopefully you're not too mad about the title. If you can't tell, I wanted to make a joke about the fact that a lot of people seem to consider how hot a female lead is before they watch a show, um, especially something involving fantasy. Um, at least a lot of people that I've heard bring it up. I thought it would be funny to have a more sarcastic title for this. I know that this wasn't the best character analysis of the two. To be fair, I did this in about two days. I came up with this idea very last minute. And as I said, I'm not a huge Thrones fan. Uh, I'll probably do a more detailed analysis of the characters at a later point because I'm a huge, 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 huge fan of The Witcher. Um, actually get more into like the lore overall, like their book counterparts and all that. Anyway guys, I hope that you enjoyed that video. If you'd like to follow me on Twitter or Instagram, links to both of those are going to be in the description down below. And as always, have a great day and peace out guys.